Hey guys, this is Faiza. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to my new video. In this video, we're going to be talking about chemical exfoliating 101. I'm going to go ahead and simplify it as much as I can. I'm going to talk about what they are, when to use them, how to use them, and just general questions that you guys ask me on Instagram and TikTok so I can um, go ahead and answer them for you. And let's go ahead and get started, guys. Before I talk about chemical exfoliation, I want you to talk about what exfoliation is and that is the process of removing dead skin cells from the surface of your skin. So guys, there's two types of exfoliants out there. There's chemical exfoliants, which we're talking about today, and there's also physical exfoliants. Uh, the difference between the two is um, that physical exfoliants, they require you to scrub on the face or on the body um, using brushes beaded scrubs, face scrubs or anything like that. So guys, now let's talk about what chemical exfoliation is. And chemical exfoliation is a process of breaking the glue that holds the dead skin cells together. And you do that by using acids. So guys, one thing that I wanted to point out here is that always, always wear sunscreen. It's very, very important, especially if you're exfoliating. Mainly because if you start exfoliating your face, uh, you are actually making your skin very, very sensitive to the sun. So let's say that you are exfoliating every two, three days and you're now wearing sunscreen, you're actually making your skin worse. Now guys, there's two types of chemical exfoliants out there. There's AHA and then there's BHA. So let's start with AHA, which is alpha hydroxy acid. Um, there are three things that you need to know about AHAs, which is that they have small molecules. Um, they are naturally derived and they're water-based. So what does AHA do? They'll actually improve the texture of your skin and they'll actually brighten those dark spots uh, that you have uh, for you. And they do that by removing all the dead skin cells away from your face. Guys, with AHA, there are six acids out there. Um, there's glycolic acid, there's lactic acid, there's mandelic acid, there's malic acid, citric acid, and there's tartaric acid. Let's get into glycolic acid. Uh, so glycolic acid is, um, I've already explained in AHA, so it breaks the glue that holds the dead skin cells together. It's water-based, so it gets into the surface of the skin. And there's a lot of um, glycolic acids out there in the form of toners, serums, and even cleansers. So guys, let's move on to lactic acid. It pretty much does the same job as glycolic acid, but it's more milder. Um, it's made for people who cannot tolerate um, glycolic acid. Um, some people may be sensitive or they may get redness, irritation inflammation using glycolic acid so they are the ones who end up using lactic acid so guys other than glycolic acid and lactic acid there's also mandelic acid malic acid citric acid and tartaric acid i can't even remember all of them at once all six of these acids are great for removing um, dead skin cells from the surface of your skin but guys do remember that we all have different skin types and we also have uh, different skin colors and the reason why i'm bringing that out is i recently just learned about this and i wanted to share that with you guys glycolic acid is really really good but if you use a high percentage and if you have a tan skin tone like mine or skin tone that's darker than mine it can actually make your hyperpigmentation worse so use anything less than five percent don't go over five percent with glycolic acid this also goes for lactic acid and use the one that is five percent or less or i would recommend using mandelic acid and if you have a darker skin tone like mine or something that's darker than mine Again, it will make your hyperpigmentation worse, so don't use the glycolic acid, guys. I'm not gonna recommend that for anyone with um, darker skin tone. Guys, for those who have darker skin tone like mine or something that's darker than mine, I would recommend the mandelic acid. Uh, it's 10% from ordinary. It's actually really good as well. Again, it's mild and it doesn't make your hyperpigmentation worse. So guys, now let's move on to BHA, which is better hydroxy acid, and there's only one acid in this, which is salicylic acid. So guys, I'm pretty sure those who suffer from acne or any Type of acne may be familiar with salicylic acid because it's actually really really good at unclogging your pores so guys bha which is also salicylic acid goes into the second layer of the skin and it actually breaks on the sebum that's causing breakout so guys one thing to note is that aha and bha they're both acids and they all work really good on the skin but make sure to not overuse it. I'm gonna emphasize on that because I know there's a lot of people out there who think that using it every day will make a greater impact, will make their skin better. They will actually make your skin worse if you overuse it. All depends on your skin at the end, but just be very, very careful when it comes to using these guys because they're acids at the end and they can actually make your um, skin worse if you're um, using it way too much. Guys, I also wanted to point out uh, that those who have hyperpigmentation, they need to be very 
very careful with uh, what they're using because uh, if you're using glycolic toner or lactic toner they can actually make your skin worse especially if you're using it at a high percentage so guys i know everyone's using this on tiktok so i want you guys to be very very careful those with hyperpigmentation or those who have a uh, skin tone like mine or those who have darker skin tone than mine because this can actually make your hyperpigmentation worse this actually has aha at 30 percent which is a lot so guys be very very careful i always had this for a couple of months and i told myself that i'm gonna use it but i never actually got to using it but thank god i didn't and guys i'm not going to recommend this if you have my uh skin color or something that's darker than mine if you have lighter skin tone go ahead and use it it's really really good but for those who have my skin color this aha at 30 percent this can actually make your hyperpigmentation worse so be very very careful i'm not gonna recommend this to anyone um with a south asian background because i know a lot of us have our circles and they're very much genetic this can actually make it worse so be very very careful guys so guys when it comes to recommendations um i'm also using the tlc drunk elephant serum i actually love using this this has a bit of everything but at a low percentage that's why i love using the aha and bhas together because when they are put um together they're most of the times at a very low percentage unless stated otherwise uh, this is very good i've been using it on and off for the last two years and it has worked really really well for my skin tone so i would definitely recommend this it is a little bit on the higher price range um, but if you can afford it go ahead and try this out so guys another serum that i would recommend is the honeymoon glow serum by pharmacy i've actually used that so much that i don't actually have it anymore um, it's actually a really really good serum for uh, someone who has my skin color and guys the reason why i would recommend that is that it's actually at 10 percent uh, but it's actually a mix of like citric um, glycolic lactic and food acids which is really really good for those who have my skin tone or something that's darker than mine the reason why i'm also recommending that is because it's actually at a lower cost uh, this is actually over 70 but that's actually 58 dollars which i don't think is as bad um, but if you're going to be using it twice a week it'll actually last you for a really really long time and i don't actually have it anymore because i used it all up but it was a really really good acid i used for a very long long time but guys do check that out as well and now guys let's talk about the application and the types of products that are in the market so guys when it comes to these acids you have to realize that they come in the form of cleansers toners moisturizers serums literally everything so if you guys know the basics if you guys know what glycolic acid is if you guys know what um, salicylic mandelic or citric acid is for example you guys will know what you guys are uh, buying because you guys will know what these are and what they do so this will actually help you decide if you guys want to buy those products or not so guys when it comes to peeling solutions like this this is a really really good acid but i'm not the biggest fan of peeling solutions i prefer to buy acids that work overnight uh, that's why i like using serums overnight that's why i like using toners overnight these work as well they're not that bad but i'm generally not a fan of them guys a lot of times when you guys are buying these uh, you guys will know that they actually have a percentage on the bottle as well and you guys will know if they have a higher percentage medium percentage or a low percentage and this will also help you decide if you guys want to buy them again when it comes to glycolic acid very careful if you guys have hyperpigmentation again it will actually make it worse so go for something um, that's five percent or less or go for a combination of ahas and bhas like this so guys if you're new to skincare i've given you like an overview of what these assets are and how they might help you but i would recommend that you guys start at a lower percentage um, to see how your skin reacts so the best way to learn is that always do a patch test on your arm rather than your face it may react it may not react but always do a patch uh, test to see if it's for your skin or not i would always recommend that you guys do it here then on your face you want to see like half of your face turning red if it's reacting for example always do a patch test if you're getting like a tingling feeling that means it's working but if it's getting really irritating um if you're getting a lot of redness then remove it right away so guys another question that i get asked a lot on tiktok is if i should be putting them on my dark circles they should not come in contact with your eyes because they're acid so you have to be very very careful if you really really want to use them i would suggest that you stay here but don't go here because this is when you're getting really really close to the eyes and you want to avoid that because they can be very very dangerous for your eyes so again if you want to tackle your dark circles just stay here just don't go deeper into the eyes and you don't have to go here either i would not 
not recommend that in short i wouldn't recommend you guys using those acids around your eyes either just stay in this area and that's it and that's it guys i hope i was able to answer all of your questions today and i really hope this video helped and i was able to inform and educate you guys on the type of acids that are out there and if you guys are new to exfoliating i really hope this video helped guys if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to also um, subscribe to my channel i'll be doing a lot more skincare here as well also guys do check out my tiktok i do a lot of skincare tutorials over there and on instagram i'm gonna be leaving everything in the description box below and guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next week take care bye